let's come to the topic one that's about industrial relation. So as we already discussed, industrial relation is nothing but we try to maintain a very good relationship between employer and an employee is called as an industrial relation. So this is, this is what exactly definition says about and uh, let's look at what is the what is the kind of you know connectivity between industrial relation and a human resource management so industrial relation is as we already discussed it's about management of the relationship between employer and an employee and uh, it's actually you know traditionally if you look into it uh, the industrial relation have been focusing on formal and informal institution of a job regulation through which you know both formally as well as informally they try to regulate the job and make sure that it is going on in the right direction and whereas the human resource management focus on the level of an individual organization and in concern with issues such as uh, you know probably what is the way right kind of a recruitment has to be done and what is the kind of you know proper kind of selection techniques has to be employed and uh, you know the kind of compensation we pay and ultimately performance uh, you know review right kind of techniques has to be uh, uh, you know uh, followed and ultimately human resource development how we can develop the human resource uh, both individually as well as for the organization goal so this is a way actually you know hr looks at, at the very very broad aspect of it but very specific aspect of the uh, you know building a relationship you know specifically happens at the industrial relation traditionally if you look into it industrial relation have been predominantly applied more into the manufacturing organization but today industrial relation concept is uh, you know changed because it's it's been replaced completely with your hrm function hrm function it's a robust kind of function which takes care of the industrial relation also so that's the way if you look into it uh, you know when we deal with uh, you know uh, high skilled and knowledgeable kind of a workforce with a multicultural kind of a workforce industrial relation is slowly slowly going away hrm is actually you know taking care of the entire you know relationship part of it now we'll, let's try to look at uh, what is exactly trade union uh, trade union is nothing but union support of an employee right and uh, help them in negotiating a better kind of a pay and a working con uh, you know working conditions through a collective kind of a bargaining system so trade union is actually you know as an in in individual employee they cannot fight for their rights say it could be related to the salary or it could be the working condition of the workplace or probably the working condition of the you know uh, what you call it as your workplace and that can be you know monitored that can be demanded through the you know certain kind of an unionism where collectively all the employees of the organization join together and they form a union through that you know they try to have a collective bargaining with an employers and that's the way they try to you know probably uh, get uh, their demands to be you know met so that's the way actually trade unions have been formed now let's try to look at what are the kind of a key elements are involved in an industrial relation uh, there are actually you know there are three aspect of uh, key uh, elements we need to look at it the first one is which are the parties are involved in an industrial relation the second one is what is the process is involved and the third one is what is an outcome of that particular process now let's come to the first part of it that is what are, which are the parties are involved obviously you know the employer is the major kind of a party and uh, because of the employer employee will be you know part of the uh, you know this uh, industrial relations and other than that you know the empl employees themselves form their own union and uh, sometime you know it is just a union at the local level within only one organization or this particular union can be you know affiliate might be having an affiliation with professional kind of a bodies or an associations or it could be sometimes you know associated with big political party who is at the social level so these are the ways actually you know the employees union put together uh, that will be that will have a you know higher level of power so they will be another party and the fourth party is you know your government and uh, you know the government has come out of the trade unions act 1920 and so many other different kind of you know uh, legislation through the legislations and uh, the kind of an agencies uh, state agencies and uh, indian labor organizations or you know through a lot of peacemaking kind of you know bodies they will also be part of that particular uh, you know entire industrial relation now let's try to look at what is the kind of a process will be involved in an industrial relation uh, most of the time you know very common kind of an you know uh, process will be your collective bargaining that means one side you know you have the union and on the other side you have the employer and employee associations and with the employer and employee association along with the unions they try to you know probably bargain they try to demand whatever uh, their uh, requirements are 
and ultimately you know the industrial disputes and uh, lockout and dispute resolutions mechanisms and all they try to resolve through the collective bargaining system and uh, employee you know actively participate in the workplace i hope you might be aware recently you know two three years back uh, in a maruti um, you know factory where uh, swift uh, uh, what you call it is the manufacturing is happening there because of the kind of you know demand of bonus and other things there was a big kind of an industrial disputes broke out and uh, based on that actually there was a lot of you know personal clash and uh, ultimately you know hr manager got killed by the trade unions and other things and all so actually you know that has been uh, taken through the collective bargaining and then they have been discussing about why this you know employee needs are not been maintained so these are the ways actually you know the processes includes you know uh, collective bargaining and ultimately you know the trade unionism and the employer and employee and other people and all so outcome let's look at what is the outcome of the particular uh, industrial relation so it's it's nothing but you know uh, through this particular uh, collective bargaining they will arrive at a collective or probably the common kind of an you know agreement uh, between employees and an employer and uh, decision by the tribunal or uh, you know consolation committee made by as a peacemaking thing you know they will try to you know reveal uh, come out of the kind of you know adjustments or probably the kind of resolutions and agreement between an employees and employer on a you know issue specifically you know at the workplace whatever uh, can be arise so this could be the outcome so now let's try to look at what is the objectives of an uh, industrial relation the major objective of an industrial relation is to basically safeguard the interest of the labor and the management uh, by preventing one of the players from getting a strong hold over the other so it's basically you know they wanted to maintain an equal kind of a rights and the second kind of a thing is to develop secure and uh, you know develop and then secure uh, mutual kind of an understanding and a good relationship among all the players in the industrial setup and the third kind of an objective is to maintain an industrial peace and harmony uh, so that you know industrial conflict can be you know avoided and uh, basically you know to improve the standard of uh, living of the average worker by providing a basic and uh, standard kind of an amenities within the workplace and ultimately you know to increase the productivity by minimizing the industrial conflicts and maintaining an you know harmonious industrial relation so these are the kind of you know objectives uh, will be kept in mind uh, when we start any kind of an industrial relations